Okay. <clears throat> then we have this new Exist Master and these three VZOM subscription promos. We're gonna start with the Xyz, I think. Okay, so the Xyz and this one already have scripts. So we're gonna start with those two and then we'll move on to the these two that don't have any scripts yet. So stuff in the Xyz. Volnikis. Rank 7, Dark Dragon. Okay, it's level 7. Must pretend it has 2 materials from this card, then target one face up card on the field, destroy it. If it was a monster, you can have one face up monster you control, can attack equal to the destroyed monster original level or rank times 300 until the end of the next turn. This card cannot attack during the turn. This effect is activated. It's a quick effect if it has a dragon monster as material. Okay. Relatively straightforward, just has a lot of small details that we need to pay attention to. So, alright, get some procedure. And then we get, okay, destroy, target. Needs the attack chains category as well. Attack change. Yes. Okay, target. Ignition. Soft once per turn. Monster zone. Condition cost target operation. Okay, so condition. Uh, another year, hundred of equips. Right, okay. So this is how the quick effect part is handled. You make a clone of the first effect, make it a quick effect, put a different condi put a condition on it that says it has a dragon as material, and then the condition on the first on the normal re regular ignition effect is that it doesn't have a dragon as material. Uh, so yeah, uh, get over the Goobies exists, Race Dragon, okay. Post is the detached to materials, and they cannot attack. Uh, attack, 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 uh, okay, hasn't attacked already this turn. And it can detach too. Cannot attack. Uh, during this turn, cannot attack during the turn, so it's like, okay. Okay, Zant. Uh huh. Description, register, remove to overlay materials, yes. Okay, looks good so far. Target. Where is it? Okay. Target. Uh, face up card on the field. So it needs to be on the field. Let me. And it needs to be face up as well. It's face up. Yeah, okay. We skip this, Eerie. Can you skip this? Yeah, Eerie. Uh, so he may target any card on the field rather than just face up cards, but uh, it's pretty easy to. Oops. It's pretty easy to fix this. Like so. Target one face up card on the field, destroy it. Uh huh. Anywhere on the field. Okay. Target. Okay, looks good. And then the operation. Get press target. Uh, Fill it to effect and destroy. Uh, in its previous location, monster zone, so it was a monster. And has original level or original rank that's more than zero. Makes sense. Uh huh. You can have one face up monster, and there's a face up monster you control. Okay, and you say yes on the prompt because it's optional. Then, uh huh. Does it say you uh, gain attack equal to the destroyed monster's original level or rank times 200? So he gets the max out of the original level and the original rank. 
like it was probably to some stupid like yeah probably Zark uh, Zark anime or something some anime cards might have both a level and a rank so you get the maximum one put it here and then you sell it has a player select face up monster they control and gives it the attack boost single of the attack LV times 300 phase and 2 for the next turn okay so let me put a comment here increase attack and we need to highlight the selection I mean we don't need to do it but uh, can select uh, it will make it way more clear if we do it so let's do G is not used anywhere, okay, so we can do G here, Oop. or let's do SG, makes more sense, select a group. So th what this will do is that when you select it, it's gonna uh, show the outline around the card, so that both players know, and it's gonna be on the log as well I think, so both players know which card was selected, so it's more obvious which monster was selected to get the attack boost. Then we get the card version of it, uh, update the attack, okay. Okay. So let's, uh, let's put these in the side deck. And what's an easy way to get to level 7s? Uh, there's a guy, yeah? Right? I can special summon myself. This one. You have one control monster, you control no monsters. Uh, hmm. There's an easy way, I think, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, there's one special summon this card your hand or something mm. no okay there's one that pays life points this guy okay it's not once per turn either so makes it way easier Ta -da. okay those are our two materials and now we need face up cards on the field to test stuff so let's do Jim Wolf Warwolf, let's do Sogan. Come uh, 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 uh. attack. Okay, we need actually the guy is a dragon. The guy is a dragon. Uh, it will help for the. It's a warrior shit. Uh, level 7 dragons, anybody? Those are easy to summon. Dad, uh, how does it? You can send one another alternative, yeah, maybe alternative. Another one, or level 7 higher dragon. We'll come to guys, but must be hands. Maybe this guy. Yeah, we can just put two copies of this guy. It works. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's put six cards. Opponent. Yes, okay. So let's try without. Um, what's I'm gonna call it? Without a dragon first. Activate these. Let's summon our materials. XC summon. Okay. And now let's make sure that you cannot target the face downs too, but that should be fine. So now it should not be a quick effect. Let's check it. Okay, I cannot use it in the battle phase. 
detach too. Target one face up. So let's pop the shotgun first. Okay. Got an attack. Now we'll try destroying the monster. So much you don't get an attacker, yes. Select him. And he gained 1200, which is 300 times 4. This is correct. Uh, let's, okay, you cannot attack. Right? Nice. Let's make sure the attack boost stays. Okay, up until the next turn. Uh, what I want to try now, I've got... Mm, oh yeah, the quick version. Oops. So now that he has a dragon on him. Uh, he should be able to use it as a quick effect, yes. Detach two. And let's say... I destroy... Uh, Warwolf again. Yes. And then he's gonna get the attack, nice. Uh, 1200, yes, correct. He cannot attack anymore. Okay. Anything else? Let me see. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna need a puzzle to test this last scenario. If he has a lot of exit materials. Um what's his name? Volney Gitch. Give him a dragon material, and then the rest are gonna be non dragons. And I need him to have four materials. And now I need some cards, some face up cards. feeling because it's soft once per turn and I'm gonna be able to use it once for a quick effect and once with for another quick effect. Let's see. So if I use this as a quick effect and that's the dragon, destroy this, I can use it again. That's the problem. So this is a flag. Uh-huh. So where are we gonna put the flag? Uh, lost! Oh, target! I guess the cost makes sense. Let's do it in the cost. Get, not to get, uh, let's step like a let's step like effect. Flag on itself with its own code, 
and we need it to be zero. Now I'm just gonna put it at the end, I guess. Okay, and then register. ID. Uh, we have the resets here. We can copy this. Reset face, face end. Property, no property, reset count one, and we don't want the label or description. Okay, so we restart. Now if I use the dragon version of the effect, I cannot use the other effect in the same time. Well, it's the same effect, but it's coded as if it's two different effects. That's the issue here. If I don't touch the dragon, it should be the same case. Okay, good. This guy should be good now. Get selection. Okay. Right, uh... As a dragon... And it's not face damage, okay, so that's... Hmm. I guess it does increase attack, so yeah, you can use it in a damage slip. Makes sense. This check is so that you cannot use it after damage calculation is already performed. Damage step. Okay. Okay, I think he's fine. Let's see so now. Okay, let's move on. We don't need these. Okay, so this has a script already. So what does it say? Uh, level 4, Wind Dragon, Armor Dragon, it's an Armor Dragon. When it's destroyed on opponent's master by battle, you can spell someone on level 5 or lower, Wind Dragon from your hand or deck, except this guy, where you cannot attack directly this time. Okay. Create a symbol. Uh, special summon, trigger on a single, if a battle is drawing. That's for destroying an opponent's master by battle. Uh-huh, list itself. Okay. Target operation. Uh you have room in your master zones. And there is something, something in your hand or deck. That something needs to be a uh, level five or lower wind dragon. The wind dragon, the five or lower, and we special summoned. Okay. And when it resolves, uh, if you have no room, return, select for special summon. Uh -huh. This makes more sense to do it as a special summon step and then do special summon. Like this. And this should be the same as this one. Single. Uh, uh, oh, that's a different description. We'll see what it says in game. It's okay, so a single. Oh, wait, this is kind of direct attack. You cannot attack directly, okay, okay, so it's not exactly the same. Cannot disable, plan can, cannot attack. Uh, 
this turn, okay. It looks good. It looks good. So we need an opponent's monster. And something to special summon. So I guess on Dragon Thunders. We'll see that he can he should not be able to summon this guy. Special summon uh, but can't take directly. Okay, and the direct attack is gonna be easy to check as well. So we special summon this on the opponent side. And then we summon this guy. Attack. Okay, yes. Right, we can also summon this. So let's summon level 5. We can that directly. Good. Okay. Don't attack. Okay, it disappears. So this one's good. Uh, the name is slightly off. Arm hold. Arm hold dragon. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to... the other cards. Okay, so these do not have a script, so I'm gonna have to write it from scratch. Something something Japanese name. Rotengu. Just copy the spot. Okay. Uh, destroy. So, if this kind of possession is destroyed by an opponent's card of face into the graveyard, to your graveyard, or if this guy is passed on from the graveyard, you can turn on attack position once your opponent controls, destroy it. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, I already found this that has a similar activation condition for the destruction part. Uh, I don't need this. Let's make this E1. So, okay, destroy here, category destroy, single to go. Uh, send to grave, event to grave, diamond step delay. It's an if, yes. Condition target operation. So, what is the condition? Let me copy this. What does it say? Uh, reason play is the opponent. Reason destroy, reason effect. Which controller to be? Okay, that's correct. So, this is gonna be condition one, or rather. Desk on one. STG and SOP. And then we're gonna have a second effect, uh, which is gonna be for the. If this guy's based on from the graveyard part. Now let me do. Set count limit, which is a hard once per turn on ID. You can only use the effect once per turn, right? E2. Is gonna be E1, clone of E1. Uh -huh. And the difference is that it's gonna have a different condition, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is gonna be the same, really. Yep. Yeah, everything, everything else, is, oh, and the event is gonna be different as well. The event is gonna be special summon. Yeah. With some success. And I can get the condition from this guy. 
which is pretty straightforward. So this is going to be this gun too. Boop. Okay. So we just need to do the targeting. Oh, it needs a target flag, does it? Tag one spot. Yeah, it, it does target indeed. So we need a uh, flag target. Uh, or is it target flag? I can't remember. It's a uh, hard target. There we go. And the property. Okay. And then, so it does. What does it do again? Taiwan attack position monster. Your opponent controls destroy it. So let's target exiled for the target. Let's copy exiled post. For the for these two. For the target of the operation. STG, SOP, and we just need to add another check because it needs to be attack position. So, attack pose. He's attack pose, I think. Yep. So, check C, attack pose, and blah blah. Oops. And there we go. And then, card uh, is attack pose. Your opponent controls, you can target your own stuff. The opponent controls. Attack position only. You take one type of smash, your opponent controls, destroy it. Okay. If I target, destroy, blah blah. Okay, it looks good. So we need a monster reborn. For the special from the greater part. And let's say Raikeki. And we also need the opponent to have monsters. So get a couple monsters out. Um Jester Pompet is an easy special summon from the hand. Monster. And you can put it in either you can put it in a type position. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. Okay, so let's see. Some of scan. Set this, but just some of this. And now we fire a Keki. Should trigger. Target this. Destroy. Nice. And then I'm gonna flip this face up. And revive the crow. Triggers, okay. Oop. Okay, nice. So this should be good as well. This one's left. Which is pretty similar if I call correctly. Uh, if this kind of position is destroyed by an opponent's card offense into your graveyard, or it's be something good, that's exactly the same as this. Uh, you can draw one card. You can use famous button, blah blah. Okay. It's basically exactly the same, but uh, it does a card instead of destroying a monster. So we're just gonna copy the whole thing. This one's called Onoraki. Make the script for it. I mean, let me save the file. So this needs to be draw capital W. There we go. It doesn't target. Uh huh. It's once per turn. Just 
just gonna change the function names slightly. And the door one part, uh, let's get it from Sacred Crane. Guys, but some drone card. Nice. Actually, it's mandatory, so uh, let's do Jar of Greed. Way simple. Yeah, so we just need this basically. Just gonna replace this. And I need to fix the name again. And this. This is gonna. Place the operation. There we go. Uh -huh, you can draw a card. I guess Hyperia is a monster version of this. Oh, this is mandatory as well. Never mind. Is there something wrong? Oh boy, there's no tabs here. Huh? Okay, I'll fix that. I'll fix it after this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't need these. Okay, so let's test it. Uh -huh. Here's some more cards in the deck, and we are good to go. This is summoned, I mean if it's uh, destroyed by the opponent, I can draw a card, yes, okay, and then I can use Master Bone to draw another card, yep, okay, all good. Gotta go draw. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, let me do a quick pass, see if I can see if I missed anything. Summon, yeah. It summons from Hunter Deck. Okay. Step timing. Plug effect. Face up cards on the field. Select something to give attack to. Uh -huh. Give it attack, blah blah. Okay, everything looks good. How long has this been? 35 minutes. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. This was already done by area 2, so it was pretty 
some simple updates. This was already done, it's a very simple card. These are very simple cards. I mean, they were like 99% copy paste, so. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. It's gonna be it for the day. I'm gonna go upload the cards now. I need to add Japanese names here. Uh, yep, so. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Peace.